Hey guys, what is up? It's Laura here, back with another video. So I thought it would be interesting if we went through my entire makeup collection. I saw this one girl do it and she titled her video like small kinda 2021 makeup collection. Mine's not small by any means. I suppose in the grand scheme of things you could say it's small like compared to Manny MUA or Laura Lee, but for any normal human being, it's definitely not small. But I semi-cleaned it up, and I am actually pretty proud of the setup. So yeah, we're gonna go over so, it. Firstly, this is like a um, storage organization unit that I got. I believe I got it at either Walmart or Meyer. So I got these like three drawers from Meyer, and then this is my newest addition that I just got. I showed it on TikTok, but this is my first time showing it on um, YouTube. I actually purchased this from Amazon. I followed this one girl on TikTok, and she showed this really cool like organization thing on Amazon, but it was sold out. So I found this instead and I was like, whoa, that is so cool. It's like revolving. I think it was like 30 or 35 bucks, maybe at the max 40, but it's super easy to put together. Like it gives you everything you need. You just like tie it up and I'll go into more detail about that later. So the first thing that I have, um, I think I got this at Target, but this is where I put like all of my essential makeup that is secondary to my regular everyday makeup. So this is where that goes. I have like primers, some mascaras that just aren't as loved but still loved. Um, I have some brow stuff, setting sprays, chapstick, eyelash glue, you know, the usual. This isn't actually makeup. This is just some extra storage, but I put some leftover scrunchies in there. We have this. So this bag contains like lotions that I have. I have some hand sanitizer. This is like a Christmas decoration that can hold a candle. This is one of my favorite items that I've gotten from a subscription box. It's basically from, it's basically like a mirror that's got like lights from Lorella. If you're into indie makeup, Lorella is a really good brand. So this is one of my miscellaneous drawers. I have like nail polish, some lashes, shadow. This is a decent amount of my um, ColourPop shadows. So yeah, it's really hard to record with my phone and then with my other hand doing it, but some nail stickers, Bobbi Brown um, foundation, mascaras, more mascara. So that's that drawer. The next drawer, okay, this is like the drawer that I am like single-handedly the most embarrassed to show, but it is my lippies drawer. And like, you are going to faint when you see how many lippies I own. I want to preface before like anyone says anything. I'm not like rich. I live in a very, very small apartment, but I've done like subscription boxes. I've done like collaborations for like TikTok and Instagram. So I did not buy all of this makeup. Like there's no reason for me to buy all of this makeup, but you know, it, anyone who does like the freebie websites or the we'll give you this item for review thing. Obviously, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You, there's a lot of things that you get or like just box exchanges. I've gotten a lot of makeup from like friends. Like I got this from a friend. Um, I think my friend Amanda gave me this. I won this in a giveaway. So yeah, um, these are my two newest collections. The Glow Recipe Blue Berry Bounce Lip Pop and then the watermelon, they're brand new. I'm really excited to have that. I think out of all of the stuff that I actually paid for, I'm pretty sure it was like my Kylie collection stuff and then like, you know, the Sephora stuff. But for the most part, I did not pay 
for most of these items. So yeah, just wanted to put that out there. So that's the lippies drawer. This is, I have two drawers for my palettes. So as you guys also know, when you get subscription boxes, you get a lot of palettes too. One of the subscription boxes that I have, Bijou Beauty Box, literally gives you a palette almost every month. And I've had the subscription for about two years now. So you can imagine that I own a lot of palettes. So we have this one from Wander Beauty. We have um, this Gourmande Girls uh, highlight. Bang Beauty from a different subscription box. This one I actually did pay for. It's my priciest one. It's from Tarte. I think it was like $40, $50. Tarte is very expensive. Okay, so that's that drawer. The next drawers. So this one is filled with a decent amount of like face masks so like the ones that would come in a tube are in here this one's my most expensive one that i did for a free for a review i think if you were to buy it outright it'd be like 60 dollars, which i cannot imagine why any mask would be that much but um this is an elf setting spray this i think i got on sale from ulta but this is the Physician's Formula Butter Collection with Casey Holmes. It is amazing. Basically, it just comes with, like, all the basics and then, like, a lippy and the spray. So the first drawer that we have um, is basically what stuff couldn't fit in the main um, two drawers for the palettes because I ran out of space. I have In the Balm, Physician's Formula, Bang Beauty. Maybelline, Medusa's makeup. Medusa's makeup is really nice. The thing that I didn't like about their subscription box was it just kind of felt like they were giving me items that weren't really up to par with what I wanted. I know their subscription box is really cheap, but I was like, it just saves me money in the end, just me buying the product outright because then I know that I like it. But that was just my experience. If you guys have ever used the brand Oh My Fucking God Cosmetics, it is also an indie brand. It is so good. The next drawer that I have, this is my main, this is the other palette drawer. So I have like uh, Anastasia, Beverly Hills, Ruby May, Oh My Fucking God Cosmetics, yada, yada, yada. This is also basically like a miscellaneous drawer. So... I've been putting a decent amount of things I've gotten from my Walmart beauty box in here, but I also have like liners and chapstick. Actually, that should go in here. Um, so yeah, just random stuff. I'm gonna move to these drawers cause I think they'd be fun to talk about. These are not makeup related, but I have some makeup bags. Uh, stickers. This is my, like, main jewelry drawer that I have. This makeup pouch has a decent amount of my face masks, foot masks, yada yada. Over here, we have this cutesy DIY. So I ended up buying from a thrift store this, like, $5 um, kit, which came with these this board and then these mason jars and stuff this um i got that at michael's so it was just the plastic thing that came with like the filler beads but i decided to put to use it all anyway so i painted this kind of like a honeycomb keyboard style and then all of my makeup brushes that i've collected from these various subscription boxes i've put in here with some filler beads and you know, I thought they were cute. I love like cutesy makeup brushes. Like I have some with like a mermaid theme. I have some rainbow ones. I haven't even like used this. And then my favorite part of the, oh yeah, this is my like area for my artwork. I moved it cause I had to use um, the other side of my apartment for, my boyfriend's stuff but this is the newest edition like I said so I have a decent amount of like scrunchies and like headbands and stuff on the top 
And then here, I displayed it in a special way. So here I have a decent amount of my Truly stuff. I have some hair masks, lip mask, and then my unicorn body butter. Here I displayed a decent amount of my jewelry in like a cutesy way. So I have like some earrings, some bracelets. These are really my favorite earrings that I got from my one friend. Um, and yeah, I don't know where that one earring went. Oh, there it is. It dropped. But I always say when you have like these things, you want to utilize the space as best as you can. So this two sections are my everyday face makeup or whenever I'm doing a makeup look, these are like my go-to things that I legitimately can't go without. Like this is my favorite concealer. Those two are my foundations that I normally gravitate towards. This is like my favorite um, highlighter. This has been my go-to mascara. It just makes your lashes so long. It's so affordable. Um, my setting powder that I use, setting spray that I like to use, some lip and cheek stuff. I'm a big fan of using um, liquid blush. So this is like my area for having like, you know, COVID related stuff. So I have some hand sanitizer and then I also have some sunscreen, but I haven't been going out that much. So I don't really need to apply sunscreen too often. And then here I have a decent amount of my lotions. And then here I have basically my entire perfume collection. I have Library of Flowers, Tokyo Milk, uh, Sweet Bike, Sweet Light Candy by Ariana Grande, Katy Perry's Indie, and then my newest perfume that I got from a friend, the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. And then here I have some like hand sanitizing wipes and feminine wipes and yada yada so that is the entire makeup collection like added in with some skincare and stuff and that's gonna do it for the video guys thank you guys so so much for watching and have a great day